today I'm going to show you the unboxing for a SEMA M16 A3 full metal and the reason I'm doing this review especially this late when SEMA M16s came out a few years ago is because I don't find any proper reviews and since uh, I want to do my own this uh, I will follow through and explain everything in detail so right now well I just opened it I just skipped it to save time and this is what it's going to look like pre-packaged and, and I opened it backwards my receipt but I'm not going to show my address this is my charger that it came with I got the lipo I'm mean, not the lipo the uh, nickel metal hydride package uh, 9.6 1600 uh, milliamps and this is how it looks like well it came it's way nicer than other other uh, boxes so let me just turn around alrighty so just fix this now I'm gonna take off the lid but I'm just gonna save you time well it comes really well packaged since there's another cover this is your manual as you can see Oh god. Sorry. You get. Alright, so the manual has English and Chinese or Mandarin, I'm not sure. And it has a detailed view of the weapon uh, or similar variants. Alrighty, so this is me moving it up. Ooh, Simo really changed their game from 10 years ago. You get a, a full metal, I think 300 round um, high cap magazine, which is has a way better finish than my old magazine. All right, as you see, the material on this is kind of like matte black or flat black. And well, the as you can see, this is an Umarex plastic um, magazine. It's 300 rounds, the same as that, but plastic, obviously not as durable. Very thin right here and I can tell it would break in a moment if I dropped it this is an elite force one of my better mags I mean the thing wore off so I just spray painted it tiger stripes or grassland as you can see the finish is pretty glossy well it's pretty alright this is a Lancer tactical magazine um, it's finished is um, tan but it yellowed out pretty bad so and it broke quicker than the rest and I had to replace the spring inside so yeah this is really I can tell that this is a little bit higher quality than the old Lancer Tactical mags the new ones are a bit better you get your side adjustment tool right here yep there's not much to that you get a little sample pack of BBs um, these don't personally I don't use them but I mean if you don't got something else it's really not up to me to judge and whoo, this is heavy. This is easier like nine pounds and it came off. So the receiver is full metal, sides full metal, delta ring full metal, um, polymer handguard, polymer uh, rare stock, but metal sling, same here, polymer, metal, metal, ooh, and it's a granu granu uh, granulated, that's pretty good plastic I mean comparing it to the Lancer Tactical um, M4 I mean all, it's all polymer except the uh, where it needs to be for example right here the triangle sight barrel slings delts ring there's even a replica gas tube all the little um, mechanics of it it's metal the buffer tube is uh, plastic uh, trigger is metal, trigger guard is metal, uh, motor grip is uh, metal, not the actual grip, the motor uh, grip plate is metal. Uh, I broke this on accident at a field, so I replaced it with this one, my M16A3, and all the internals were metal, this is metal, and even came with a, uh, a, a cover for it right here, a bolt cover, or dust cover. This is a dust cover, but I think under it was metal as well. 
uh, it's the main parts are metal. That's all I'm gonna say. Under the box, you get a cleaning rod and jamming slash cleaning rod. So yeah, I know it's not. I mean, I really like the heft to it. So excuse me. Oh my goodness, it locks back. Not uh. It locks back. Oh my goodness. This is what I wanted. Nice. This forward assist, forward assist is obviously not going to work. But yeah. Let me just get my pre-charged battery and put it in this bad boy. Fortunately, it, came, it comes with a fuse already. So you don't have to worry about that. Alrighty, I have my battery plugged in. Now let me just test it. And I don't think it had a fuse. My bad. Well, apparently the gun does not work out of the box. So cannot demonstrate the FPS or the fire unfortunately um, well the package came from e-bike and a UPS um, courier um, UPS wasn't very fast about it either taking me around a week and a half to arrive and um, yeah that's actually pretty bad I mean when I got it here, when it got here, everything was pretty hot. The box outside was hot, which was understandable since it's June and it's in Texas. Uh, but it's so hot that uh, it was so hot that even the inside of the uh, foam and everything was hot. So yeah, pretty not not a pretty good deal. But I will be sending this footage to Evike to see if they can replace my my gun. Well, I had to do some teching, and well, I, I don't think the, uh, the little uh, cover that goes onto here is gonna work anytime soon. As you can see, it's stuck halfway through for some reason. I don't know why that happened. Let's see, I mean, everything else worked fine now. Um, it was clogged up with foam that came from this, from like the packaging, the extra little. Uh, cruddy pieces of uh, foam so this is how the rifle is gonna sound like and uh, here so the quick demonstration oh my goodness not again okay I'm back from a little bit more teching and here how here's how it sounds like this is gonna be full auto I'm gonna do a short burst because I do not want to destroy my gearbox shell. And personally, I like I like it. You can tell it's a clone from SEMA. I mean, obviously it's not going to be the best one out there. Um, but I mean, if you're trying to go, I don't know how to explain it. If you want a a pretty good replica of an M16. This is, should be a pretty alright one if you're in a low budget. Uh, I paid 148 for it plus shipping, like $12, not a big deal. And I mean, I I can tell by now it's going to last longer than my Lancer Tactical, which I do love. Uh, I tried taking that off, but it won't come off anymore, so there's nothing I can do about it. Same over there. And I mean... I had it for a good three years, actually. Actually, four. Four. I got it for four years. And uh, it actually bothers me that, uh, that it broke, especially that quick. And I had to shave this down. So I put a... I bought a... A, a rail that goes on top right here. And, well, it didn't fit, so I had to shave it down. And from what I can tell... That part ain't gonna fit over. Actually, it might fit over there, but I'm gonna ask if I could borrow the part from my friend because I gave it to him. But I'm still gonna keep it. I'm just gonna order another one. It's just I want to see if it fits. But I didn't get through with the whole description and the. I think this is all metal. I think this could the outside could be plastic and the inside could be metal, but I'm not sure. This one is metal for sure. Yeah, that's metal. And I mean, it has little to no wobble. I mean, you still have your wobble, like this one. 
Y'all can hear it probably. This one just not so much. That's the, the, the inside. Something's rattling in there, but it's definitely not the handguard. It's actually the sling. And this, the dust cover. But yeah, the only thing that really disappointed me, excuse me, what really disappointed me is uh, that I didn't have the little metal sheet in here. And that it's a, a triangular. Triangular, uh, I do not know what this is called, but uh, where it holds the rails or the handguards, it's it's a uh, triangular, as you can tell. The rear is uh, circular, which is fine. So this would easily fit a Vietnam style handguard, but it wouldn't match with the uh, handguard if you were to try and modify it for a VN style. One more detail that I didn't like is this is way too easy to pull back. I mean, a lot of people are like, hey, what's up? I mean, it's better, isn't it? But in my opinion, it's really not. Um, it will lose strength quick. I mean, I still have a bunch of issues trying to pull this one off without the tool, like the real ones. And um, I mean, both of these have both best of both worlds and I mean, they work fine. Um, in a minute, I'll do a penetration test uh, because of the FPS, and I can easily tell uh, what FPS it, it is by uh, shooting cardboard. I know it sounds weird, but a lot of uh, people out there, I think you should know um, how uh, BBs go through. I am not going to be using these. Uh, I'm going to replace them with the better ones that I have. And yeah, I will do a magazine fit test just for y'all who uh, do not want to go out and buy mags and then find out that they don't fit so seats properly actually with very little wobble the umrex magazine that is all plastic very i mean it's made to right dimensions so just it wouldn't be my first pick since it's uh all plastic but i mean if what i've noticed is that it does cut weight when you carry these instead of the metal mags also, obviously the SEMA mag is going to fit better since it's proper, like made by its manufacturer. It has, oh, did y'all see that? Oh my goodness, it does not, there we go. Well, I had to slam it pretty hard in order for it to fit. And yeah, it's weighed a little bit too big. Now the Elite Force uh, magazine. Just a little bit of wobble, I can tell it's like at least a millimeter or less of wobble. Now to the the all right uh, Lancer Tactical mag. I mean, not the best, but not the worst. Whoa, that's easily a three millimeter gap. I mean, it seats well on this one, as you can tell. Oh my goodness, never mind. But yeah, uh, I'd say out of all of these, um, this one fit too tight, which is not bad. I mean, you can, it can wear down. This one fit all right, which is a Umarex style magazine, SEMA, Lancer Tactical, and Elite Force. These two fit, just a, a little bit of wobble on both of them, which is not a big deal. Uh, if y'all want to, you can wrap it around with tape or something. But yeah. I like it. I mean, not the best gun out there, but not the worst. And I'm going to go skip ahead to show y'all the penetration test. All these little uh, dents and marks made right here are by a 380 FPS uh, rifle and pistol too, which is CO2, but that's totally unrelated. Uh, the deeper ones are made by, by the pistol. Uh, some of the medium ones are made by the uh, rifle shot by that which is uh, 380 to 390 FPS and so we're going to be testing it on this but that's going to be the last test the first test is going to be this one and as you know guns with 280 FPS and below uh, do not really affect cardboard that much so I'll be filling my mag also, I wanted to let y'all know that uh, 
these BBs that I got from Academy for $20. I mean, yeah, judge me, whatever. But these are decent if y'all want to start out pretty all right. I mean, they're not the worst. They're not really going to affect your gun since they're very well polished. I've checked them under, uh, not microscope, but a macro camera, which, I mean, they're pretty round. I mean, there's, there's no seam in them. So... There's rarely any irregularity, irregularities, so it's going to be alright. This won't affect your gun. $20 at Academy for 10,000 BBs, 20 grams. To ensure to y'all that I was not lying about the 280 FPS, how easy it is to tell on there, I will be shooting this GSG 522 from German Sports Guns. Um, it is a airsoft replica of the GSG, GSG 522. Which is based on the MP5. As you can tell, the front side is not uh, the same as uh, MP5. These are in real life are made in 22 caliber. Also, I will be shooting the cardboard and the uh, box itself to show y'all how strong this is. I will be shooting it with a 9.6 volt. So, let's start shooting. As you see, it did not break the uh, cardboard. As y'all see, this, it did not break cardboard. I mean, it went deep, but that's because of the 9.6 volt battery. It is everything made in it is plastic. So that shot like straight up at 290 to 300 FPS. But uh, also, I gotta say, this, is, this gun cost me $30, which is really cheap for any... Uh, any gun to be honest uh, you would expect that it's worse than bb tech or uk arms but i mean i ran an 11.1 .1 for around 20 minutes plinking outside and it did not necessarily break but i mean it was i could tell it was about to but um i mean it's solid i mean 30 dollars is very very for 30 dollars is very well made um a GSG, and even in real life, makes your guns almost completely out of polymer if it were not just for the barrel and the, uh, and the uh, fire pin, and that's pretty much it. I mean, even their triggers uh, are rumored to be made out of plastic, which such as this gun. So, this is basically one of uh, the real thing, just made into airsoft. But, in real, like in real life, um, which their guns are really good, it's also very good in airsoft, I mean... Yeah, you might have a little bit of seams and all this stuff, but that's me just opening it and closing it all the time. Um, just to check if it's all right from the inside, which it is. I mean, a 9.6 volt, um, any cheapo gun would not take it at all. So I would recommend this one for y'all starters out there. I know uh, it was the video was supposed to be about the M16, but I want to help out the people who don't have enough money. I mean, this is not going to give you... Um, the same accuracy as that or in that in four it's a good beginner gun just it comes with a mini not mini uh, the smallest type of uh, plug you can find and I had to cut mine I know y'all might call me stupid or something but I cut mine and I soldered it together and um, put it put a Tamiya connector onto it and I couldn't find any uh, plugs that were not used so I had to cut one off from my uh, one of my batteries, which is already uh, destroyed. But we threw it away properly, so don't worry about it. Now we're gonna test the M16. In here, I have a mag, not full, not full, but enough up to where uh, it'll feed a few rounds. And wind that. There we go. Wow, this gun is heavy. Alrighty, I just want to give you all the view. Rear side, also, the rear side is very stiff, which is good. But let's just get on to the shooting. And I will be shooting in semi-auto. Oh my goodness, that one hit the back. So it went through and hit there. That's easily 400 FPS. And let me put on some glasses. I forgot to do that. Well, since I couldn't find any of my um, goggles or anything like that, I just put uh, on uh, some goggles that uh, are really old. And I'm about to crack. So, let's shoot. 
this real quick. I do not want to hit my TV, so. I was wearing these. Uh, I'm very uncomfortable. Uh, these are skydiving goggles, but that's all I had for now. And as y'all can see, I think, yeah, this was a new hit. Way more deeper than that. Or I do not remember, but still very deep for a, for an airsoft rifle. That's easily around 390 to 400 FPS. But there's really no way to tell us I do not have a chronograph. But that's my closest, um, my closest guess. With a 9.6 uh, volt battery and 1600 uh, milliamps. Oh my goodness, no. I'm gonna vacuum that in a second. But yes, I mean, are you getting a bang for your buck? Hell yeah. It's, it's not a bad gun at all. I mean, except most mags, as you can see, um, the ring on this one is uh, tighter than most guns. CS SEMA has a wider one. All the rest I already checked them and they're the same, but as you can see, SEMA has a wider one. This one has a tighter one, which is no big deal. It still works. It still should feed. I mean, it, it fits all right. I don't think there's going to be any misfeeds. I mean, at least for most guns. But yeah, that's my full review of the SEMA M16 A3 full metal with... Uh, uh, there is, I think that's called the uh, bolt that uh, locks back, but mine doesn't for some reason. At first it did, now it didn't work. I don't know why. But yeah, I forgot to mention, you get a sight adjustment tool, but I do not know how to use it. So I will not use it, and I don't want to damage my gun. So that goes there. There. This came with the... Um, the charger and battery that I ordered so th this does not come with the uh, gun itself so I will put this in there then here and y'all have a great day